Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add the order history feature to your website. So for example, let's take a look at this website here. It's got everything. Uh, it's got the home page, about, specials, order online. Basically it's got everything there, but <clears throat> we want to add a new feature that just came out, which is called reordering. Uh, so we're going to add a button here called My Orders, so we can do that. Um, again, there's many different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I do it. Uh, you can do it your way, but uh, the way I do it, I just got used to it, so I do it this way. So you can go ahead and do it my way, or you can do it your way, but here's how I would do it. So I'm on the website here. I'm going to go to the back end, which is a dashboard. <clears throat> okay, and then what you would do is, again, this will work if, if the website belongs to you, uh, if it's your own website. So if you have your own WordPress website, and you want, you want to add the order history feature, this is how you would do it. Go to plugins. Let me dismiss this. And then make sure that you have the latest version of the plugin. So you want to see you have 1.32. If it's less than 1.32, press update now. And then once it's updated, what you would do is you go to Clover Order Settings. Go to Checkout Settings to make sure uh, login is enabled. Log in and check out. So enable this. If it's already enabled, then you don't have to do this. But just make sure that's enabled. Save changes. Okay, so uh, go ahead and let that wait for that to update itself. And then now, <clears throat> while that's updating, go to Google and type in Clover WordPress. And you should see the first search result. Look for Smart Online Order for Clover. It's right here. Okay, and then press Development. You'll see the latest version right here, Change Log 1.32. And look for where it says Short Code. Add a new short code. Uh, for customer panel, allowing customers to see previous orders and reorder. Okay, just copy this right here. Just copy it. It's like that. And then go back to the page here. <clears throat> okay, so here's how I do it. Again, you don't have to do it my way. Uh, and, and you probably won't, won't be able to do this if, if, you, if you can't install plugins. So you may have to just duplicate the page. But here's how, how I do it. Go to plugins and add a new plugin. Here, let me tell you why I'm adding a new plugin. First of all, let me go to pages here. When I go to pages, and I see all my pages here, and I want to duplicate this page, but see, it doesn't give me that option. I want to do a quicker way than just pressing add new page and doing it the slow way. Slow way is fine too. You can do that, but uh, but this plugin just kind of speeds it up a little bit faster. So click on add new plugin. Type type in duplicate page. Okay, I think it's duplicate page right here. It says duplicate page, uh, duplicate page. And make sure it's this one right here. Um, it's by this company right here. Install now. Activate it. And then um, now go back to the pages again. All pages. Order online and just press duplicate this, okay? Once you duplicate it, you'll see a new page called Order Online, but it'll say Draft because there's nothing on there yet. So press Edit. Again, you can. there's many different ways to do this. I'm just doing it this way. Change the name. You can call this whatever name you want. I'm going to call it My Orders. You can call it My Account, whatever you want to call it. That's up to you. And then also change this one too. Whatever name you put here, use that one as the same name. Or you can give it a different name, but I'm going to just call it My Orders. Okay. Press OK. Now scroll down and change the short code, wherever the short code is. Short code is, uh, remember we duplicated the page. So basically what that means is it's going to be the same content as before. But press visual here. See right here where it says move all items. Leave everything else the same. Just change this one, okay? Just delete it or just copy and paste. I'm going to paste the new one. See how it changed to move my, my account right there. Press save and exit. And then press publish. Okay. Once you publish it, now you have to get this page to appear on the website, right? So you go to appearance, menus. Okay, so I have my new page, which I created called My Orders. I'm going to add that to my website. I'm going to add it after contact us. So it's going to be the very bottom. You want to add it higher? If you want to add it under here, you can. I'm just going to add it here, okay? So it's up, just up to you. Save menu. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back to the website. See right now it doesn't say my orders. I'm gonna refresh the page, okay? So when you refresh the page, then you'll be able to see it. So now there's a new page called my orders. Now people that order pizza, they don't have to come in and um, basically you don't have to, uh, they can reorder. So here's what I mean by that. So when I go to order online, now that when I order, uh, so when I, so for example, let's say I ordered a pizza already. I'm going to click on my orders. I just log in. Okay. Now I have a new uh, set of features here. It'll say previous orders, my profile address, log out. So since I haven't ordered anything yet, I won't have any previous orders. But your customers that order it will show their previous orders. Again, this will start at the moment you update the plugin. So for now on, your customer's order history will be saved here. And you can always go back and just do a one-click reorder. Okay, and that's how you do that. So again, I did it this way. You can do it different ways. Um, you could call it a different name as well. But that's how the reorder history feature works. Okay, um, yep, that's how you do that. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. Um, there's other videos on YouTube as well. So feel free to watch those as well. Okay, so again, it just makes your customers uh, order a little quicker. Thank you.